East front of the Chateau the Chateau de Chamaisel, or Chateau de Talaru is a castle situated in the commune of Chamaisel, in the Loire Department of France. It is located in the Haute Forest, between the towns of saint Etienne and Thiers. Its name in medieval times was saint Jehan de Neige. The castle dominates the valley of the Lignon and it was built to be an impregnable fortress on the instructions of the Count of Fores. Construction of the fortress began in 1231. The work was carried out by Seigneur Arnaud de Marsili to the order of Guy Four du Fores who financed it. The site was covered by forest and almost inaccessible. Initially, it functioned rather as a fortified house, but it was transformed into a genuine medieval fortress, intended to counteract the ambitions of the powerful neighbors of the Seigneury of Cousin. Then in the hands of the Damas family, linked to the Germanic Emperor. The castle appeared gloomy and severe, with four round towers dominated by a square keep, with no openings on the sides. When Antoine de Marsili died aged 25 with no direct heirs in 1371, the castle passed to his sister Beatrix, last of the Marsili line. She had married Mathieu de Talaru in 1364, thus the Seigneury of Chamaisel passed to the Talarus, an old noble family from the Lyonnais. Following the destruction of the Chateau de Marsili, the Talarus withdrew to the castle at Chamaisel and, in 1400, they built the ramparts, in the form of a pentagonal enceinte and added machicolations to the keep. After the incorporation of Forays into the Kingdom of France, the Talarus served the king and his armies. During the Renaissance, the Marquis de Talaru, returning from the Italian wars, added Renaissance-style embellishments, open-work facade, galleries to the inner court, painting in the chapel, sculptures. But the winters were harsh, and from 1533, the Talarus preferred to live in their Chateau d'Icate or in saint marcel de Felines, acquired by marriage in 1559. Chamaisel was transformed into a summer residence and began to be neglected. In the 18th century, the Talaris inherited by marriage the Chateau de Chamarand, near Arpajon, to the south of Paris, and they moved there to be closer to Versailles where Louis de Talaru held important posts in the royal court and the army. They abandoned the castle in 1650, carrying out only the most urgent work. The castle began a slow but sure deterioration. In 1850, Louis Justin, last Marquis of Talaru, 25th Lord of Chamaisel, peer of France and ambassador, with no heirs, left the castle and the forest to the nuns of the Sœur de Saint-Joseph. In order to establish a hospital for the canton for the care of the sick. The nuns carried out some repair work and decoration. Later, they transformed it into a boarding school for children from the school at Chamazel. The nuns finally left the castle in 1972 and rented it to the commune, on condition that it was maintained and open to the public during the summer months. The castle is now owned by new proprietors who intend to open it to visitors and to create chambre d'hôtes. Guest suite with two adjoining bedrooms, shared modern bath and toilet. The castle, with its medieval aspect, has kept the elements of a fortified house from the year 1231, but with all of the later modifications and additions by the Talaros over the centuries, murder holes. Walls, keep, round walk with machicolations, but it also has Renaissance elements, the facade, the inner courtyard, galleries and chapel. The castle is open to visitors from June to September. It is possible to rent rooms and a suite. The Chateau de Chamaisel is listed as a monument historique by the French Ministry of Culture. Thanks for watching.